Hello and welcome back to our Starfield Let's Play Poorly. Uh, I am getting out of my chair here. Okay. All right. So what's what's our plan? What's our plan? What are we doing? What are we doing? We got to talk to Sarah. Who the heck is Sarah? Oh, right, that lady. Okay. And then these are done. Right? Yes, those are done. That's the main faction missions, miscellaneous. Okay. Got it. Let's go. Wait. Damn it. Uh, where are you? Ooh, storage. Do I do I get to just use No, 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 no. No, no, didn't mean to do that. Or Oh, inventory. Okay, so I I I all right, got it. I can put stuff in storage. Fair enough. Uh, how do I... There we go. Put you away. Nicholas Nickleby! Moby Dick! I bet you the entirety of, of those is in there. It's funny, these walls and the, the layout, like the way the, the colors work here, reminds me a lot of the, uh, the corridors and the houses of uh, Neverwinter Nights 2. with the analog chicken. Why would that be missing? <laughs> I mean, there's digital copies everywhere. No, no! Stop! Oh, God, you scared the crap out of me. You've got something for me? So, are you ready to get to work? Sure. Or was there something else? Um, I'm ready... We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. Okay. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. All right, so there's just kind of some of them floating around. Going to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Okay. Have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission. I excited, yes. Anxious, yes. Felt the same way when I started too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going Fair. to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Okay, so I will be locked as your follower if you continue. Um, I sh Sure. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Sure. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? <sighs> you don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Okay, understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a detour. Bye bye, Vasco. You are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I am, yes, thank you. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do some maybe wandering around for some other mission things to see if, how that plays out. If see if we if she'll let us do it, I, I think she will. I don't think she'll complain if we go do other things. I mean, it's very it's gonna be very Sky, Skyrim like. Let's go apply for a job. Oh, it's a long walk across this town. Gefilba, Gefilba Inc. Gal Bank. Or Gefilba Fink. Right? I'm, I'm not crazy. That says Gefilba Fink. I'm 
I'm cutting across. All right. Where's my lady? Where's the lady coming? Where are you? Where? Where'd you go? I can't have lost her already. There she is. She's trying to find me. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Wow, okay. Didn't see that coming. Job application. Welcome to the Yujin Industries job application. All questions must be answered in order for your application to be submitted. Uh, how many years of experience do you have working in a secretarial position or corporate environment? I'm going to say none, because honestly, none, right? Uh, how familiar are you with this? Uh, I'm going to say, ooh, very, no, that's terrible. I shouldn't lie. I'm going to say a little. What is your proficiency with computers in regards to typing and file management? Low? I mean, I'm a trucker, right? So I'm probably not doing any office jobs. What level of education have you completed? Um, I, 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 I'm going to have to come up with my backstory, aren't I? Uh, let's say high school. Do you have a hit? No, I definitely do not. Your application is now complete. Please report to Im Imogene Salzo for your interview. Okay. Oops. Your there you go. Now the kiosk. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Sarah? There she is. CO2. Spaceport. Ah! That was an accident. All right. Where are we going? Oh, I've always liked that statue. Which one? That one? I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, wow. Those clothes. I want that. Whatever that is, I want it. Ah, crap. Can I can I jump? Probably can. Oh, investigate brownouts in the well. Ah, oh, there must have been some conversation that I technically overheard, but didn't really. Wait, what's going on here? Wait, what the heck am I doing? Oh, shit, I gotta go somewhere? Oh, no. Uh... Oh, this is a lot of stuff going on. Alright, we're, we're going back to here. I didn't want to have to travel somewhere. Oh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, uh... Uh... Nah. Nah, let's do this part first. I really wish those activity updates... Uh, uh, we're on a bit more of a delay because I don't really know the context. That's okay though. Security scanners, chemical. All right. Uh, we got to talk to John Tawala in Mast. Really? I don't know. me, but the financials make sense. I love how they let me overhear everything. We're going to have to give you one hell of a send off. Hey guys, is this not awkward? Have a deal. That's not awkward to you? All right.
Are you the guy? Sarah. Yeah. Good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Okay. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Mm, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, and knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. Oh, I didn't you sign up for that. To hack it out there after all. Do well. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need him back after you wrap him in that fancy getup of yours. No worry, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First okay. First, head down to the orientation hall. Get signed up at the registration terminal. System will walk you through the rest. All right. Oh, I guess I can do that. Well, I well, well, don't. To make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, oh come on. You I, I'm good. Let me turn around and open up my thingy. All right, let's go do this. Shooty, shooty. Orientation hall. Okay, enlistment agreement. I, Archibus X, agree. Yeah, you agree to perform necessary services for the UC that could place you in serious danger, resulting in harm to your craft or yourself, up to and including death. In exchange, the United Colonies Vanguard agrees to compensate all captains according to their experience level and the difficulty of the task requested. All applicants will be required to earn a satisfactory grade on a simulated combat flight, successfully complete a probationary mission. Upon completion of both prerequisites, the UC Vanguard agrees to sponsor your citizenship application and guarantees the granting of UC citizenship once sufficient time or acts of valor have warranted it. Do you agree? Yes. Consent documented. All right, now I got to go to the examination. Ooh. Where's the... What? What are you... Oh, creepy. What are you doing? Oh, wow. This is cool. The end of Earth. <laughs> Do not touch the globe. Do not touch the globe. Ooh. House Varun. Free Star Collective. I guess these are ancient guys. Ooh, ooh, this st oh, it's a freaking museum. I love it. Okay. From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. That's it. Oh, yeah. The UC ooh. That still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Varun, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. Cool. All right. The Centaurus proclamation has always left me torn. So much conflict arose as a result. Was it worth it? Oh. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna look at all these these cool things here. Sorry, you're just gonna have to go on a field trip with me here. Okay, so the Free Star Collective were first. So I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna look at this this thing first here. Oh no 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 no! I keep doing that. <laughs> in mutual defense. But All right. Oh. In 2194, after the deployment of a UC medical star station in orbit around their world, the citizens of Narion also requested to join the collective. The resulting rise in tensions between the Free Star Collective and UC 
culminated in the settled system's first intergalactic conflict, the Nereon War. All right. Despite yep. decisive victory by the UC, the colonies permitted the citizens of Nereon to join the collective, forming the basis for the fiercely independent union that persists to this day. Are you done? All right, you're done. Ah. It was only in 2230 that the faction known as House Varun first made contact with the rest of the settled systems. Founded by the passengers of a colony ship that had left New Atlantis and disappeared four decades earlier, House Varun was a faction unlike any other. A theocracy dedicated wholly to the beliefs of its isolationist faction. That's not how you spell holy. House Varun initially made overtures of peace towards the rest of the settled systems. They claim their only intention was to spread the word of their god, the Great Serpent. Oh, that's creepy. But none could have guessed that this worship might take the form of a bloody war, the Serpent's Crusade. Are we done? Okay. Keep going. In info, the narrow. Oh God, there's a whole thing here. Oh my God. Ugh. Like the books in Skyrim. Oh, I'm not reading all of that. I wish I had the time for that, though. Serpent's Crusade. There's an explosion. There's some people died. And then some other people had a conversation about stuff. And then that thing happened over here where it looks like people got pissed off at other people and made them leave or something. I don't know. Um. Ooh, conflict among the stars. More wars. The Battle of Nira. God, I want to. I want to do this whole thing, but everybody's gonna stop watching if I just spend the rest of my playthrough just going through this museum. <laughs> the Terror of Londinian. What the heck are you? This thing's like an artist's rendition, right? No animal can be this ugly in real life. Wow. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Let's find out. Let's find out. but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. Pretty sure they don't call themselves that. threat to all human settled worlds. Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. So basically, Starship Troopers, the movie. Mm. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. I have a feeling we're going to end up there at some point. Terror Brew Cup. I'm not taking that. Crash. Oh, gosh. Armistice. More guys in cool clothes. People with ties. Or scarves, I should say. And then the Vanguard. I guess these are the... Yeah, this is the... Uh, the army or the defense forces of some sort. Ooh, cool. Action figures. No. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, Sarah. Let's get in get in the elevator. Get in the elevator. There you go. Okay, we're going to the piloting simulator. Oh, that's so cool. A fair bit of time in simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair.
All right. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Oh, I've forgotten how to do this. Three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. What did I just do? Okay. Where are they? Where are they? Okay, I can't remember now which gun is which. Okay, left left button is the uh, is the one that goes after the shields. Okay. Yay! Got one. All right. Splash one, where's he? What? Oh, okay. We're gonna keep going. Boom. All right, number two. Target defeated. All targets eliminated. I feel like I have missiles, but don't know how to use them. Oh wait, okay, uh, repair the shit. okay, okay, oh, zero. Or, oh, which one? Oh, 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 I don't know. No, oh, I'm gonna die. That's the problem with that kind of a font, you can't tell the difference between O and zero. Okay. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score. It's O, okay. It's O, not zero. The remaining tiers. No, I'm good. Do I really not have a sense of style where I take my hat off helmet? I don't I don't get it. Uh uh, yes. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. Yay! Thank you. Okay. To Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome. Come to take another run at the simulation. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to practice. Well, maybe not practice so much as just read the the keybinds again, because I know there must be other things that I wasn't doing. I was just using roll and then you know the the pitch and the yaw and then the two to guns and boost. And I'm pretty sure that's not all I can do. So. Well, look who's back. 
everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? All right. I wrapped up my part of the exam. Told me to come back here. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? I'm ready. Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. Yeah. Inquisitive folks tend to do well around here. That's good to hear. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. I didn't even know how to do that. Now, how'd you do against your foes? All right, clear tier three. We try to set a high bar, but that's no small feat. Nice work. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... Two years! Ten years service. Ten, ten years! Better than your average lab rat or diplomat, but pretty standard for folks going out into combat. Ten years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, so like we've got very starship troopers. You're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member. Yes, today. please. Yes, please. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probation. Yes, please. please. First, though, oh. all service people, provisional okay. or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John. You're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? Yeah. I'm ready. Fantastic. Then just follow me. I wish there were a way to walk more slowly. Is there like a... Can I crouch? Oh, there we go. If I crouch, I move at the same rate as this guy. No, I'm still moving too fast. Come on. Oh, we're going to do it here. This is cool. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. I can't see the stars. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. Space, above and beyond. The God, that was a fun show. Of the United Colonies military and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies? the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the vanguard honor loyalty self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the united colonies navy uh yeah i i, I like i don't these <laughs> this particular uh version here oh dear i have wow i've frozen up well, that's unfortunate Anyway, uh, yeah, that one's very snarky, but I'm gonna have to load back in. That's a, that's, that's weird. Oh boy, it jacked everything up. Uh, there it is. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, I do. Then We're good. be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Ugh. We're <laughs> trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. The place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. Sounds good. So, can the people of Tau City 2 count on you? As long as Khan isn't there. Yes, let's do this. That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Ooh. Give it your all out there. Supra et ultra. Supra et ultra. Yes. Okay. Ooh, I got money. All right, lady. 
Oh, I get to level up. Let's do one of these. Ballistic weapon systems. Oh, I'm already current rank one. Uh, boost packs. Advanced locks. Ship targeting functionality. What? I couldn't do it before? All right, let's do it. All right, Sarah. You were patient with me when we come back. I swear I'm going to do the thing you asked. Thanks for watching. See you next time.